But when one story ends, another one begins. Would you rather fight a hundred chicken-sized zombies or ten zombie-sized chickens? Just to be clear, you wouldn't have any weapons or armor. But I'd have to go with the giant chickens. Not because I want to, or because I think it would be easy. But because they would be an abomination. Imagine their giant feet. Like I said, an abomination. So, I've got a daylight sensor on the roof. Mm -hmm. And if I did this right, these lamps should turn on once it gets dark. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to just leave Ruby here with nothing while we're at the building complex. He's coming with us? Really? <gasps> what kind of question is that? Of course he is. Okay, I'm not saying he shouldn't come. I'm not. But don't you think it's a little weird to be taking him everywhere you go? He kind of makes us look like, I don't know, amateurs. Ruben's my best friend. I thought I was your best friend. Oh, both of you are. I didn't mean anything by it. I'm glad he's coming. I just don't want to give people one more reason to call us losers. I'm getting tired of it. Who cares what other people think? I know. I'm just... It wears you down. You say you're not a loser, Olivia. So win. Okay. Fine. Do you hear that? Oh, no. smell like a pig in Endercon. That wasn't funny, Axel. I brought you good times and now I'm being punished for you it. You scared us half to death. Did you bring the fireworks? Of course I did. I even brought something for the little guy. Nice. You brought Reuben a disguise? Um, we're going to a convention. Somebody's got to wear a costume. He looks awesome. It only took me like a million hours to build it. All right, all right. You definitely brought the fireworks, right? Yes, I'm ready. Waiting on you guys. If he was really your best friend, you wouldn't let him go outside dressed like that. The only thing more dangerous than putting a costume on a pig is trying to take it off. <laughs> Hurry up and grab your stuff. We'll meet you downstairs, okay? Okay. <laughs> Cheers! I'm definitely taking these. Never know when I might need to shear some sheep. One of these days, we're gonna win the Endercon building competition. And when we do, people will look at us and say, Hey, there goes Jesse and Ruben, winners of the Endercon building competition. Uh, flint and steel, not too shabby. everything. Let's roll. Yeah, dude. Roll. Let's go. I heard a pretty juicy rumor about the building competition, but you guys have to promise not to say anything. Okay. Also, it's in two parts. Each part more exciting than the last. Spit it out, Axel. Part one, the special guest at this year's Entercon is none other than Gabriel the Warrior, him freaking self. Whoa. What's part two? Part two, according to my sources, the winner of the building competition is going to get to meet him. It doesn't mean anything if we lose, but if we win, oh man, this would make up for all the losing. It's not that big of a deal. Endercon will be fun either way. What? Right, hold on. Let me try that again. What? He's right, Jesse. Incredibly. This is a huge deal. So, does this source of yours make posters for a living? Huh? 
yeah, my uh, source uh, doesn't exist. You guys are my only friends. Guys, let's stay focused. We have a competition to win. We never win. And this year we've got Ruben with us. We basically have no chance. Faith, Olivia. What? A little slice. A sliver. A portion. Just a little faith. That's all we need. Also, I'm hungry. To win. To win. No, no, I'm with that. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We're thinking about this all wrong. The point of the building competition isn't just to build something. You have to do something to get noticed by the judges. Okay then, so how do we do this? We don't just build something functional. We build something fun. After we finish the fireworks machine like we planned, then we build something cool on top of it. We might be onto something. If we want to get a reaction out of the judges, you build something scary. So I say we build a creeper. Wouldn't an Enderman be better? I'm more scared of Endermen than Creepers. They both have their moments. They're both pretty scary. Let's build an Enderman. Ah, uh, Olivia's thing? Are you whining? No, I was saying awesome. Yeah, I think this is the first time we've decided on something before getting to the competition. Think we've got everything we need? It wouldn't hurt to grab a little more. Let's get to grabbing then. We're so prepared. We can't lose. Cannot. Bring it in. <laughs> Dare to prepare on three. Nope. Preparing is daring. Nope. That's the same thing. Forget it. Team on three. One, two, three. Team! Prepare. building we've got all the stuff for it we are so ready this year it's going to be different i'm not just ready to build i'm ready to win nice pig losers mm. oh great there's lucas and the ocelots the rivalry continues man they've got matching leather jackets and everything so cool well 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 if it isn't the order of the losers, <laughs> great. Lucas, <laughs> get a load of these losers. Let's go, guys. Name, please. Axel. And uh, how do you do? No, your team name. Team name. We are not ready for this. So much for losing anonymously. We are the. Dead Enders? Whoa, sounds like a name for pirates. It's cool. Okay, Dead Enders, you guys are in booth five. Ah, ah, ah. Nope. I don't like the look of this. The 
Is that a freaking beacon? They have a freaking beacon? Freaking beacon? That's stained glass. They aren't just building a beacon. They're building a rainbow beacon. We're gonna lose. What are you worried about? We've got this. Who are we kidding? We've got nothing. We've got a mascot. We should probably stop staring at them. Ha ha ha. Look, it's the Order of the Losers again. <laughs> Good one, Gil. We're just looking. There'll be plenty of time for you all to look at it after it wins and gets shown at Endercon. You're being unpleasant. Maybe not all of you. Endercon doesn't allow outside food or drink. I'm talking about your pig. Reuben is not food. Could have fooled me. He looks delicious. That sounded like a weird compliment. You'll have to eat me first. Uh, let's hope it doesn't come to that. Stop wasting your time, Aiden. We've got work to do. You're lucky I'm busy. Hey, Jesse. Guys. Hey, Petra. How's the bill going? Only time will tell, but we're optimistic. Hey, Petra. I forgot to thank you for that nether star. Hey, Lucas. Not a problem. You help these tools? For the right price, I'll help anyone. If you need anything, you know where to find me. None of us know where to find you. Exactly. No hard feelings, guys. If you're cool with Petra, you're cool with us. So why don't we just forget about all this and, you know, make this about how cool our builds are? May the best team win. Careful what you wish for. We'll see about that. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Endercon Building Competition! The winners of this year's competition will have their build featured at Endercon. The winners will also meet, in person, Gabriel the Warrior! Ocelot! 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 Whoa, handshake? We don't have a handshake. We'll just <clears throat> make one up. We'll call it the, uh, the Builder Bump. <clears throat> and just like that, I'm nervous again. Don't talk like that. We can do this. Just stick to the plan and everything will be fine. This year, the Dead Enders can't lose. Let's do it. Building starts now. Oh no, a fireworks dispenser. I'm so scared. You worry about your build and we'll worry about ours. Moment of truth. Here goes nothing. This looks so cool. We'll win this for sure. I gotta admit, this enderman is sweet. Good call, Jesse. Guys, people are looking at us. Good build, man. What? No way. It's just a bunch of dyed wool. Whoops. <laughs> oh no! Ruben's on fire! Ruben, no! Come back! The lava's getting closer. I ruined the bill. Ruben's going to get lost. We've got to do something. But our build is about to go up in flames. We've got to get Ruben.
don't see him anywhere. Reuben! The sun's going down. We gotta find him, fast. He could have gone anywhere, and this part of the woods is huge. We stand a better chance of finding him if we split up. If either of you get lost, just use the lights from Endercon to make your way back to town. Got it? Got it. Reuben! Where are you? Just give me an oink if you can hear me. Hmm. Pig tracks. He must have run by here. Doesn't look like this fire will spread. I bet Reuben started this. Reuben? Reuben? Come here, boy. Hmm. Reuben? Are you in there? Stupid pigs. Reuben? No, not you guys. Pigs. All pigs but Reuben. Shut up. Reuben? Where are you, buddy? Hear me, boy? Reuben! Reuben! Oh no. Are you in there, buddy? Oh jeez. At least we'll be toasted, Reuben.
I'll show you something. Not that this isn't a really cool dimly lit tunnel, but how far away is this thing you want to show me? Careful, Jesse. You don't want to get a reputation as a wimp. This isn't my first time in a cave, Petra. Yeah, but have you ever seen a wither skull? Whoa! Fresh from the nether. You're the first person I've showed it to. You risk your life for that dusty old skull? Oh, I risk my life for the thing I'm gonna exchange for that dusty old skull. There's this guy I'm meeting up with at Endercon. He's gonna trade me a diamond for it. Being the resident go-getter pays off every once in a while. The guy you got the skull for. What's his deal? He's kind of strange, I guess. But hey, everybody's got their thing. And you never thought to ask him... Hey, what's with your whole totally normal, not at all weird skull thing? As long as this guy is willing to pay, I earned that diamond. Wow. Wow what? In a single day, you went to the nether, you killed a wither skeleton. I mean, I did build a super cool statue, but still, it's pretty sweet being you, huh? You know, you could come with me. I mean, if you're too nervous, I totally get it. But I wouldn't mind a little backup. I'd be honored to be your backup. Don't have to make such a big deal out of it. I just said- You could come with me. I know, I was there. It was amazing. Kind of starting to have second thoughts here. You just keep a crafting table down here? Comes in handy. Since that wooden sword of yours got busted, you're giving me a new one? Even better, you can make your own. One stick plus two stones equals one sword. Just grab what you need. Oh, okay. Thanks. Hey, is all this stuff yours? No, we're just stealing from whoever was dumb enough to leave this here. Of course it's mine. Just making sure. Here we go. Just place the pieces on the table. See, isn't it better when you make it yourself? Check it out, Endercon's all lit up. Looks like Lucas and his ocelots win again. Sorry, Jesse. But you've got to admit, that beacon does look pretty sweet. Yeah, yeah. I just wanted this to be the year we finally beat that jerk. You know, Lucas may be kind of arrogant, but he has come through for me in tricky situations. You might want to get to know him, just in case. He's good at building, that's for sure. It's always useful to have a guy like that around. No matter what you might think of him personally. Yeah, you might be right. I'm just saying, if you run into him at Endercon, try talking to him. You don't need a lecture on the power of collaboration, Petra. What a lecture on the power of my fists. It's short, but deadly. Come on, let's hurry. 
Remember what Andercon was like before it was cool? Remember what we were like before we were cool? Some of us will never be cool. Ha ha. Creepers. Crap. Huh. This doesn't look good. Well, there's only one way off this bridge. Whatever we do, we do it together. All right, let's jump. together and follow me. Just let me know if you see Reuben anywhere. He's got to be here somewhere. I hope you're right. So when we're making the deal, I need you to let me do the talking, okay? I just don't want anything to screw this up. Sure. I'll let you handle it. And if you want to be really useful, try to look intimidating. Like this? I'm less scared of you than scared for you. Jesse. And Petra? Hey, you all know Petra, my new super close friend. We're super close now. We ran into each other while I was looking for Reuben. Couldn't find him either, huh? I'm sorry, Jesse. We looked everywhere. I saw him, but before I knew what was happening, we were under attack by a zombie horde. I told him to run. He was for his own good. What were you doing in the woods, Petra? Nothing. Just drawn by the sound of Jesse's high-pitched screams. I would have been spider bait if she hadn't found me. I gotta admit, I'm pretty bummed they won. Again. I mean, there's no way we were going to let you go after Reuben by yourself, but it's okay to be a little disappointed, right? Or like, a lot disappointed? Cheer up, guys. We'll get him next year. I don't know, Jesse. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is sad. Hey, if at first you don't succeed, then, uh, succeed later than originally planned. Hey, Jesse, uh... it's time to go see about that... Thing. Oh, right. The thing. Subtle. Yeah? That was a punch to the face. Axel and I were going to head into Endercon anyway. See you in there? I heard somebody saying there's free cake by the map booth. Hurry. We're supposed to meet in the alley over there. Dark. Dark. Very dark in here. That's weird. He said the dark, creepy alley close to the gates, but... He's not here. Maybe he's late. Are you sure this is the dark, creepy alley he meant? Hmm. I was. Okay. New plan. You stay here, just in case this is the spot he meant, and I'll look around. I guess I could have heard him wrong. Then again, I've never gotten a meetup spot wrong before. Something about this feels off to me. All of my secret deals feel off. That's why I usually keep them a secret. I'll be back before you know it. If he shows up while I'm gone, just stall for me. <laughs> 